Hi everyone, welcome back to session 4 to learn Excel from Karpakam. In this video, I am going to show you how to do a VLOOKUP within a concatenate function. This video is going to be really interesting for one simple reason. We are using the two most powerful functions of Excel. One is the concatenate and the other one is the VLOOKUP function. Let's start it. What exactly I want to do here is, I have got three table here. The first table talks about the name of the candidate and the employee ID. The second table talks about the name of the candidate and the department in which they belong. And in the third table, I want the name of the candidate is already here. I want Excel to look into which department this employee belongs to and what is the employee ID. Once it fetches in, it has to insert a hyphen symbol in between. This is what I want to do. Even before starting our VLOOKUP, first, whenever you are working with the VLOOKUP, define your name range. Just go and select your data. Go to the name box here. Make it as table 1. Hit enter. Now you have got the name range here. In the same way, just go to table 2 also select it and go here and make it as Table to hit enter, you have got it. Now let's start it. Pass the concatenate function here. Within concatenate, instead of choosing the text straight away, nest in VLOOKUP, what is the lookup value? Lookup value is here, comma. What, where is the table array? Already we have named it. What you can do is go and press F3 key. F3 is the short name for passing in paste name dialog box. Just go here and choose table 1. Okay, comma. What is the column index number? Name is the first column and employee ID is the second column. Comma. Are we looking for a true match or a false match? We are looking for a false match. Supply 0. Close the bracket. Comma. What is the text 2? Text 2 is within double quotes. I am inserting a hyphen. Again double quotes. Close it. What is the text 3? Again we are looking for a VLOOKUP. Lookup values Pallavi Kumar. Comma. Press function F3 for paste name. Choose the table to click OK. Comma. What is the column index number? Name is the first column and department is the second column. Comma. Are we looking for approximate match or exact match? Exact match. Supply 0. Close the bracket. Again close the bracket and hit enter. You have got it. When I just go double click at the pointer, you can see for every other department I have gotten. Say for example, Arun Abraham, Arun Abraham employee ID is 173 and Arun belongs to HR department. So when we use a VLOOKUP, first it goes and looks for employee ID and second it looks for the department. Once it has found the detail, it can catenate using a hyphen symbol. Yes, I can hear that. It's very interesting and especially VLOOKUP and CANCATINATE can perform miracles and wonders in your Excel workbook. I hope the video was very interesting and informative. Thanks for joining. Stay tuned for more such videos.